Good morning, everyone. This is the new podcast from PomonaProud.com that will be broadcast every Friday. Today's show is going to be about the Doc Center for the Arts. I wanted to introduce everyone to John Brantingham. He... He's the administrator for one of the pet projects at the Daw Gallery, and it's called the Daw Shut Up and Write Club. John, how Hi. are you this morning? I'm doing great. And I wanted to start out by asking you, John, what is the Shut Up and Write, Write Club, and why did you start it? Well, the Shut Up and Write Club, um, it started, I teach at Mount Sac uh, down the street, and um, it, it started there, and we, we, it was just a place for students to come and, and work quietly. On their, their their writing, we have mm -hmm. a lot. We have a lot of creative writers there, and it's a place to, to be distraction free. But we realized we wanted to, to open it up more to the community. Mm -hmm. Although the, the community was always is was and is always uh, welcome at Mount Sac, it, it was um, a little bit cut off. So we brought it over to the Dog Gallery, and we meet every day nine to noon. Um, Monday through Friday, and we just it's just a completely distraction free place to write. Because if you're like me and you're at home and you're writing, um, suddenly you've got this intense desire to do dishes, right? And uh, so I'll, I'll get up and I'll go over and I'll do the dishes and I forget the and then I I want to you know straighten up the house or grade papers or something. And then eventually you know suddenly I'm not writing. Uh, and so this this gives us a place where we can we can just write. So John, that's probably paramount to why you chose the Dog Gallery as you selected it to do your Shut Up and Write Club? Yeah, well, I, I, I love the Dog Gallery. I love the, the, the feeling in there, the vibe, you know, and just sitting there among all the artwork before the, the gallery opens up for viewers and that sort of thing. It's just, it's wonderful. We've got, place, we've got places for people to sit upstairs, downstairs, in the, in the middle, uh, and you're just among the artwork and among other people who want to write. Uh, there's only two rules. One, the first is to shut up and the second is to write. <laughs> Um, and then, uh, if, if, but if you if you do want that communication with other writers, you know you just go to a different part of the gallery and people talk all the time. On the first and the third uh, Fridays of the month, um, we meet and we do uh, critique workshops and we do do fairly intense um, editing of, of each other's work. Um, and, That's what I need. Yeah, well, that, yeah, I am part of the club, but I have have yet to to sit down with them, and I think I'm going to remedy that this week. Oh, that's great. That's great. We'd, we'd, we'd love to have you. You know, I think the, the better, the more people that, they're, that are there, the, the, the better the, the spirit and the atmosphere. Well, real quick, I just wanted to ask you real quick about the show that's currently up. It's, mm -hmm. What's it called? The 8th uh, Annual Emerging Artist Exhibition? Yeah, it's it's it, it's kind of extraordinary. I, I love it, right? It's, uh, they're, they're young artists, and... Um, you 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 know that you you have a feeling when you go on that you hear that the, they're all young artists. You think it's going to be like refrigerator drawings, which are fine, <laughs> but it's it's not that, right? These kids are are really good. Yeah, yes. they're exceptionally talented. So, have you uh, found any inspiration from that art uh, around you over the course of the last couple of weeks? Oh, absolutely, right. There, there's um, there's uh, a lot of um, there's a big nod to French impressionism there, and a lot, a lot mm. of kids are really. Uh, doing that. And, so they're studying their art history. Yeah, absolutely. And, and my wife's an art historian, and uh, so I, she, she's showing me what's quality about everything, and she's showing me... Well, you mentioned the critique group. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the critique group that uh, that meets there every every week? So we, we, we meet every week, and we um, it's usually about six, seven people, mm -hmm. and all ages, all... You know, all different. So, writers. if I had some some writings, I could bring it in and with it, share it with the group. And, Absolutely, and we, everyone would crit critique it. Yeah, we give everybody about a half an hour usually, um, and you bring maybe six copies of whatever you have to do, awesome. and we, you read it out loud. We listen to it, and we offer whatever direct and honest commentary we can. It's one mm -hmm. of the things I do professionally, so it's it's we, we give you a, a lot of good criticism. Well, once I get in there, you guys are going to get sick of me. Oh, we'll love it. Yeah. I've got so many stories. That's in great. notes on my Facebook page yeah. <laughs> that I'm going to bring in and let them uh, critique them for me. And hopefully uh, my next show might be Willie the Writer. Yeah. <laughs> who knows? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, the, the great thing about it is, you know, uh, we'll have people who, who are uh, old people like me who uh, have been doing this a like long us. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like us. And then uh, we'll also have, uh, you know, people who are in college or uh, maybe just... Uh, 18 years old and it's it but what you get so many perspectives so it's, it's not really just about the young kids there no. are older older writers that are coming in as well absolutely bringing experience yeah. to the group it's just people who are dedicated to making sure that their writing is as good as it can be mm. right and it's great too giving the critiques uh if, if you're first starting out giving critique is 
probably more important than getting critique, right? Because you, as you speak to the other uh, other writers, you're teaching yourself how to write. Do, do you offer writing classes at the DOM? Yeah, um, on the first Sunday of every month at one o'clock, um, we, we, we do uh, writing classes, and they're usually tied into a reading series. And so, like the, the last person who is there who who uh, read poetry or something, we'll give a class on it. Last we, last month we had um, a, a famous poet named Gerald Laughlin there, hmm. uh, and he writes uh, about artwork, right? He, he, he does poems about art. So that's the third Saturday reading from 7 to 9 p.m.? Yeah, th third Saturday reading. And on the third Saturday, we do a reading with a couple of features, but there's also an open mic. Um, the, uh, our, for the third Saturday in June, um, we're going to have two writers. One is Murray Thomas, and he's a... He's out of the Long Beach School of Writing. He's fantastic. He's phenomenal. He he runs a website called um, poetics.org. It's or it's poetics.net, um, and uh, it's uh, it tells you all of the poetry events in all of the Los Angeles area from oh, San Luis nice. Obispo all the way to nearly San Diego. And it's just he's it, he's a phenomenally good writer. And then we have another person. He's a spoken word artist. I think he's maybe 22 years old. Uh, his his he goes by Boney. Um, uh, but he's a really tremendously talented spoken word artist. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the San Gabriel Valley Literary Festival? San Gabriel Valley Literary Festival, that's a, a festival that uh, I and some of my uh, friends started um, because there, there are some good readings uh, in, in the San Gabriel Valley, um, including the San Gabriel Valley Poetry Festival and Pond Water, but there's not a lot. It's not like if you go to Long Beach, there's, mm -hmm. there's, poetry, there's three or four poetry reads, readings a night. If you go to Pasadena or Riverside, it's the same thing. And so this area of, of you know, three million people, there were only a few really good poetry readings. Mm. Uh, um, and so we, we wanted to do that. And so our monthly poetry reading is part of that. But we also have a yearly um, big poetry festival, and now it's centered in the DAW. Um, and that's, um, it's a um, uh, full three days of, of just poetry reading after poetry reading with open mics, too. So, mm. you know, we'll bring in a, a couple of really, really big names, and uh, you're reading your poetry right next to them, and it's just a... Okay. John, I also wanted to ask you, I know you're affiliated at Mount Sac. Mm -hmm. are, are you teaching up at Mount Sac? Yeah, I, I, I teach at Mount Sac. I'm an uh, English professor, and I, I, along with a couple of other people, Lloyd Aquina and Michelle Doherty, I uh, coordinate the creative writing program. We'll make uh, sure and give it a good plug yeah, right Ma now and tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. Mount Sac, one of the one of the one of those wonderful places you can go. I mean, there's a lot going on there, and what's going on there for the arts is really phenomenal, right? Um, it's a, a little bit of a secret. One of the things we do is every year we we run a conference that's completely free for everyone. Anybody who goes, just show up, show up, and we feed you. Uh, we we'll, we'll give you free food, free everything. It's free pizza. Um, and, I'm all for that. Yeah. <laughs> And it's three days, and it, we're, we're expanding it so it includes all of the arts. And so you'll do class after class with, um, you know, uh, publishers, editors, artists, uh, writers. Um, we've had a number of people have their novels picked up and published by, by publishers at the thing. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we love working. It, it's not just... Uh, uh, it's not just old people either. It's also kids. Do you have a, a a name or a title for any of these books that may have gotten picked up there at the dock? Yeah. Mur or at Mount Sac, I should say? Yeah, Murder's Last Resort by Marta Chasse. And while I was perusing the, uh, the, the Shut Up and Write Club's Facebook page, I noticed a couple of... Uh, couple of websites that I thought were really interesting, and I thought maybe you could tell us a little bit about those, like perhaps the uh, Venture Galleries. Are you familiar with that one? Yeah, Venture Galleries. Uh, I, I, I post some videos to, to Venture Galleries. I do uh, blogs both on my own blog and on Venture Galleries, uh, their instructions and giving you writing prompts and that sort of thing. Oh. Three minutes. In, in June, I'm going to start doing a thing where I uh, do a video a day and... Um, by the end of the month, you'll have a poetry collection. Um, so if you just follow the instructions, three minutes a day, by the end of the month, you'll have your own poetry collection. Okay, the other one I noticed, it was called the Writer's Compass, Learn Story Mapping. Yeah, okay, so so what, what one of our, our uh, founding members um, uh, posts a lot of websites that are really helpful. And that was she, Catherine Fleming? That's Catherine Fleming, yeah. And so, you know, every once in a while, she'll, she'll come across a a thing and she'll just put it up there and so if, you, if you're having a little bit of trouble writing you want to get started you're, you have some confusion it's a good place that's to me. go that's everyone <laughs> that's me <laughs> in closing uh, we're gonna we're gonna start wrapping this up now so why don't you tell me 
whatever comes to mind now that you really want everybody to know about the Dawes Shut Up and Write Club? Well, it, it, it goes on all the time. Um, it's uh, during the summer, uh, it's going to be run by me and by Scott Creeley, who also helps to run the, the SGV Lit Fest. Um, Elders of Morrow will be there as well. Um, but if you're like my, my wife, uh, my wife is not a writer. She's a visual artist. Anne? And my wife, Anne. Anne. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but she goes in there every day and she does her visual art. Um, it, it's not just limited to, to writers. It's oh. anywhere, anyone you want to be, um, any, anything you want to do. And it's, uh, I, th I think there's such a wonderful spirit of community that happens in that, that place that I think. I'm looking forward to getting in there and being a little bit more involved. Uh, be sure and check out my Facebook page, p Tell Willie Keeps You Informed. That's tied right in with PomonaProud.com. Thank you, and be sure and tune in next Friday to the P-Town Willie Keeps You Informed show.